Hi there, I'm Tim from Hope, Bromley North Congregation, and we've come to Genesis chapter 20, verse 1 through to 10. So what's the big idea here? Well, the big idea is to fix your eyes on Jesus. So far, what's happened is that uh, Abraham and Sarah are on a road trip, and they meet up with Abimelech, a king, who takes Sarah to be his own, as Abraham, out of fear for his life, has said that Sarah is his sister. God visits Abimelech in a dream and tells him to give the prophet his wife back. In total shock, Abimelech says to Abraham, what did you see that you did this thing? Now the verse that jumped out to me is this last bit where Abraham is asked what did you see and what I want to highlight is this that Abraham here um, like us when we view a situation through the lens of fear um, what we fix our eyes on what we are looking at what we are seeing and how we think on these things affects what we do so fix your eyes on Jesus through the Psalms there are countless references to fixing your eyes for example psalm 119 says this then i shall not be put to shame having my eyes fixed on all your commandments and also in psalm 141 but my eyes are fixed on you sovereign lord in you i take refuge do not give me over to death and then of course in the new testament we have peter experiencing what happens when circumstances takes our eyes off the main event. Peter steps out of the boat, starts walking on water, and as soon as he takes his eyes off Jesus, he starts to sink. And then the writer, uh, further on in the New Testament, um, encourages us to fix our eyes on the main event, and that's Jesus. Fixing our eyes on Jesus is, Jesus is all the way through the Bible. We are constantly encouraged to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. But what does this look like? How can we go from day to day fixing our eyes on him? I think a good summary would be this. It's choosing to take our attention off our circumstances and place our focus on Jesus. But you may say, hang on a minute. I can't see Jesus. But Paul writes in Corinthians, uh, we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. And later on, Hebrews tells us, let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Now, of course, I don't claim to know all the answers, but it seems to me that keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus means that we put our attention on on three things. Firstly, who God is, our saviour, our father, our help in time of need, and so much more. Secondly, who we are in Jesus, that we are adopted and brought into the fold of the family of God, that we are loved, cherished even, that we are his, and so much more. And the third one, what God has promised, that he will never leave us or forsake us, that he will use every bit of heartache and will work all things for good. So fix your eyes on Jesus. Let me just finish with just a couple of verses to encourage you. Psalm 25, verse 4. Now show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your path. Guide me in all your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. And lastly, Psalm 119 again. Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So let me just encourage you. Let's keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. Have a great day.